Good morning, Stratford. I'm Mia Vassine. And I'm Jack Jones. Today is Friday, January 12th. It's an A day. Today is National Hot Tea Day, National Pharmacist Day, and the Feast of Fabulous Wild Men Day. Happy birthday to Junior Abigail Watson and happy birthday over the long weekend to seniors Hadley Colors and Nathan Haskell. Sophomore Risha Nyack, freshman Lily Hatcher, Jimmy Hall, and Virginia Wilkin. English teacher Dr. Frank Katz and lower school assistant Mrs. Diane Nicholson. Today's menu in the premise is seasoned wings, personal pepperoni pizza, three cheese Sicilian pizza, revved up macaroni and cheese, steamed broccoli, and cheese ravioli marinara. There is no school on Monday for Martin Luther King Day. Gazebo staff members Sally Butler and George Dunn interviewed upper school history teacher Mr. Jim Massey about the life and legacy of Dr. King. I'm Sally Butler, this is Mr. Jim Massey. So what makes Dr. King such an important figure in history? The, the biggest thing about his legacy is, is of course, you have to deal with uh, the tragic loss of, of his influence in 1968, yeah. and, and kids need to understand the impact of that. Uh, I also think kids need to understand the, the importance of the nonviolent uh, approach to civil rights, in that he did not advocate you know, any sorts of violence, and therefore all the violent acts were precipitated by Southern whites on the black population. And that importance in today's society, where you can achieve greatness without anger, without uh, retribution or things like that, really becomes part of his legacy that uh, I think really is important to know for kids. Shadow puppeteer Damon Young performed two shows for preschool students in the Olson Library on Thursday. It's alumni night at tonight's basketball games against Mount DeSales. The girls play at 6 and the boys matchup against the Cavaliers is at 7.30. The first alumni baby race will be held prior to the start of the girls game and the 1989 state championship girls basketball team will be honored. Grease tickets are on sale now. The show opens next Friday, January 19th at 7 p.m. with performances on Saturday at 7 p.m. and Sunday at 3 p.m. On Sunday, the senior cast members will be recognized after the show. Tickets can be purchased at this website or scan QR codes around the school to access the ticket link. Student tickets are $5 and adult tickets are $10. The rescheduled financial aid night will be held on Tuesday, January 23rd at 5 o'clock in Stephanus. Students interested in joining this year's literary team should contact Mrs. Finnamore. Literary categories include oral interpretation, music performances, extemporaneous speaking, spelling, and essay writing. The Poetry Out Loud competition will take place on Wednesday, January 17th in the Tift Auditorium. See Ms. Frame for competition rules and to register your poem. Child, with a many childish smile, timid look and blushing. Oh, what's up, Sarah? Hey, Michael. See the new poem that I found. Oh, that's awesome. You should sign up for Poetry Out Loud. Poetry Out Loud? What's that? It's a poetry competition by Ms. Frame. I'll show you where it is. Here's the info. If you've got any questions, go ask Ms. Frayne inside there. Thank you. A representative from the University of North Georgia will be on campus today during break in the front lobby. Have, Have a, wonderful a wonderful day, day Eagles. Eagles! Hey guys, here with guest star Caitlin Epps. This just in, Sir Nick Saban has retired. Sir Saban, 
served as head coach at Alabama Crimson Tide for 17 years, and he led the Tide to seven national championship titles. All in all, the greatest college football coach has officially retired, and he shall be missed. Roll Tide! Tide. Go dogs.